This be Mickelberg. These people aren't turned. And the village seems safe enough at least. came here looking for someone. To be honest, I... I wasn't sure I'd find him here. Let alone all of you. Hmm, is that so? What are you doing here? Is this... where you live? It is my home. The others... they... they heeded the call. You keep saying that. <sighs> what do you mean? They came here to perform the rite, just as King Barnabas instructed. This village is their altar, where they shall cast their souls upon the gentle waters and give themselves to the Lord. Give themselves? Oh, Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Let us be reborn in your loving arms. Free us from the torment of this mortal realm. They want to be saved. Forgive me, but did another foreigner like me come here? He was probably wearing a cowl. You mean the traveler from stone? Yes. He is staying at my house, toward the rear of the village. Thank you. If you don't mind, I'll go and greet him. They seek the same salvation Barnabas did. <laughs> at least the third chair still lives. Let's go and find him. Excuse me, are you with the Undying? I am. And so, it would appear, are you. Lord Rosfield, if I am not mistaken. That's right. And you must be the third chair. I am. Cyril was worried for your safety. He sent me to find you. And I must apologize. I did not mean to trouble the bearer of the burning quill. Much less you, my Lord Marquis. He said that you had failed to report. Is there a reason for that? I came here to study the followers of this new faith. But the more I learned of them, the more my own faith began to falter. You have seen them at their prayers, have you not? devote themselves to the veneration of their lord with a fervor I have never seen before. Praying night and day that they might be rid of their wicked wills and reborn in their savior's light. Not that they might be granted respite from their worldly woes, but so that they might continue to serve him. Serve him with all of their beings. I, too, swore to devote my life to the service of my lord and master, but this... It is different. It is more. And so I would see it through to the end. See these people safe, that they might achieve their dream. 
that they might do their duty to their lord. Even if it should keep me from doing my duty to mine. You do understand what their dream is, don't you? I do, my lord. They would cast aside their wills and become a Kashyyyk. I know that it may be hard to believe, but to these people, that is the very essence of salvation. Forgive me, my lord, but I must remain here. If you are to return to Master Cyril, I would consider it a great... Did you hear that, my lord? Something is happening. I'll go and find out what. Stay here. Beneath the flood. Oh no. There must be something I can do. Echoes as well. Found her. Ready, brother? Meet again. I've killed your kind before.
you die. Come on, speak to me. I had to save them. That they might have a chance to find true salvation. By devoting themselves to the service of their Lord. Just as I did. When the Undying plucked me from the gutter. And gave me a cause to believe in. A duty to serve was everything to me. And I would not deny them that fulfillment. Even if they must become Akashic in order to achieve it. Forgive me, my Lord Marquis. I did not mean to trouble you with this. My findings. Could you deliver them to Master Cyril for me? Of course. Your duty will be done. Ah. Look, my lord. They are saved. They are saved. Found her. I should get this report to Cyril. My Lord Marquis, welcome back. I am glad to see you hail and whole. I met with your third chair, Cyril. He bade me deliver his findings to you. Thank you, my lord. He remained in Ash? He died protecting the villagers from an echo. I buried him in Mickleburg. I'm... sorry that I couldn't save him. If you could not save him, no one could. The villagers, they were... believers in this savior cult. They prayed to their god that they might be unburdened of their wills. Then an ether flood came. And their wish was granted. Your brother sacrificed himself that they might live. Even knowing that that life... was death by another name. Then he perished defending liberty. A hero's end. For the right to choose how one dies is no less sacred than the right to choose how one lives. <laughs> Sid would agree. He wanted to build a world where people could die on their own terms. A noble ambition. To die for one's cause is the most perfect expression of one's faith. It matters not how misguided others might judge one's decision to be. Only that the decision is one's own. We live according to the teachings of our order. We believe in them. We protect them. And yes, we die for them. For better or worse, that is our creed. But he didn't die for your creed. He died to save them. And you still believe that what he did was right. I believe... that he believed it was. We of the Undying are not slaves, but willing servants. And this was his will. 
the ultimate expression of it. <sighs> all right. I'd like to know this man's name, Cyril. To know the names of all the undying who've fallen in the line of duty. They died serving my house. It's only right that I remember them. That is my duty. Of course. I shall fetch the Book of Martyrs at once. My lord, it has been, and shall ever be, the greatest honor of my life to serve House Rosfield. Though our duties may differ, yours is no less important. I pray with all my heart for your success. And were they here, I have no doubt but that every one of my fallen brothers and sisters would feel the same. You're not from the forest. Well, which forest? Then what were you going to tell me? And if you had? Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Best of luck out there, Sid. Fancy a look at the list, do you? Quick look. Seen enough? There's something about it.
Good morrow to you, my friend. I well recall. He truly believed. It will take forgiveness from himself. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. You wish to study the tomes? You are always welcome. You're at it. Oh. Clive, if you see me dad up there, tell him we were right to leave his legacy with you. <laughs> tell him he'll be in the front row. There's no way he'd miss this. Well, behave yourself, Mitt. <laughs> we'll see. So, you're in charge now, Gav. And what does Taya have to say about that? Come back before she finds out, eh? I shall pray for your safe return. That's kind of you, but you should pray he took his medicine. I didn't spend all night grinding herbs for his lordship to leave them on his nightstand. Again. <laughs> you needn't fear, Lady Tyre. And thank you. See that your brother comes back in one piece. Or, at most, two. Any more and you can heal him yourself. I'll keep that in mind. Well, there's nothing to say that hasn't already been said. But that's never stopped me before, so just you do what needs doing. And don't worry about us. We'll do our best, Uncle. That'll be well. Hmm. If that is all? Not quite. Jill. It's 
time, isn't it? It is. Take care of him. <laughs> and you. You take care of her too, boy. Don't forget, Clyde. We all choose our own path. Believe in yours. I do. I'll be back. I promise. I love you, Jill. I know. I love you, too. Have a god to kill. Hold on, Joshua! Already am.
So this is origin. A far cry from heaven. Where it all began. Where it all begins. Our ark. Your architect. There you are. It was here that we slumbered. Here that we waited for centuries, clinging to our decrepit shell for fear that we might have need of it once again. But you have come at last. And now we shall be truly complete. Well? There's three of us, and one of him. Let's make it count. Yeah.